Hi, this is the um, next day uh, after using the uh, Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. And um, this is my hair. <laughs> I'm not crazy about it. Um, it's a lot of frizz. It's a lot of frizz after I took it down. Um, so. I just thought I'll show you as well. You know, I put it up in a pineapple. And, you know, this is from stretching it. There's little curls you see here. Um, what I end up doing is um, I end up mixing some of my uh, beautiful curls um, shea activating, a oh, curl activating shea butter leave-in conditioner. Um, that's Beautiful Curls Curl Activating Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner uh, by Beautiful Curls that is. And then some of my uh, Shea Moisture Curl and Milk, Curl and Style Milk together in a container. <clears throat> and I'm mixing it in this little container um, because uh, just to see whether or not I can ref refresh those curls and I like I said I couldn't use this alone because it's just too strong and I didn't have time to wait for that to dissipate that that smell so anyway mixing those two together I couldn't even smell it the fragrance there was no fragrance as a matter of fact it was more of this smell of the a uh, the shea uh, butter compared to the the uh, perfumey smell of the um, <clears throat> the curl and milk uh, style milk so anyway, I did this side with that mixture, <coughs> and I'm noticing as it's drying, <coughs> excuse me, it's not exactly like I want it, um, you know, but it's not bad, but it's not exactly like I want it. Um, I can still leave the house like that. But what I end up doing is when I notice it drying, I decided, let me go downstairs and add some aloe vera gel to it. And that's what I did. I added some aloe vera gel because, of course, it was very thick before. And I did add just a tad bit of castor oil, but not much because it already had shea butter in it. I didn't want it to be too oily. So I added the aloe vera uh, gel to it. Uh, so... And that made it, it's not as thick, but it was still nice. And so this side was done with that adding of aloe vera gel to it. And of course, I kind of like this side better because it is more elongated. But I only did up to here. I didn't do the bottom part of any of them. I decided to add, um, once again, some more on this side with using the mixture of the aloe vera gel that was included. I went over that section again. Um, because it just did look right as it was drying. And I'm noticing the curls, but adding the, the uh, aloe vera gel to it, um, the curl formation um, is better than the curl formation without the aloe vera gel. Okay, um, I did the other side. I wasn't going to do it. I was gonna just leave it as is. But then after a while, and I came back in the bathroom and I looked at it and I was like, oh. I'm not happy with that side, so I did it over. And it looks so much better. I love it. I love my hair. I love the redo of my hair. And like I said, just mixing these two items together, the beautiful curls, uh, leave-in conditioner for kinky, kinky to curly hair, and the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk, along with aloe vera gel and a little bit of castor oil. Just a little bit. I probably didn't even have to add the castor oil. I just did it because when I add these two items together, I thought, oh, let's just add a little bit of castor oil. But then I went down and added the aloe vera gel, and I think the aloe vera gel is what actually did it. I think it formed the curls. Hi, this is the next day after I um, did my hair with the mixture of the uh, beautiful curls of the Shea Moisture Curl and, and Milk um, Anyway, um, I am not pleased with second day hair because um, it's okay though. It's, it's no big deal because I can just redo it. 
but this is not what I call second day hair for this particular thing. <clears throat> but as you know that this part I didn't really redo. This is like third day. And like I and the way I feel is like third day is the third day you sh I should I should be rinsing my hair once again and starting fresh. So anyway, but this is um when I use the the mixture conditioner mixture that I made uh, when I used it on my hair, this is the second day for this. And um, this is the back. And of course, the back part is third day because I really didn't redo that yesterday. But yesterday when I mixed it um, in here like my, um, <clears throat> my beautiful curls and my um, Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk, along with a little bit of castor oil and aloe vera gel, that is. Um, I put it in this container, and of course I just got this one out of the fridge, because the purpose of putting it in the fridge is because of the aloe vera gel. Otherwise, you know, it would be something that you can keep out on your counter. But because of adding the aloe vera gel, I didn't even remember how much aloe vera gel that I added to this. Um, so that's why I said I decided to make a whole new mixture and, um, and see whether or not it turns out the same as this. And if it doesn't, I'll just keep working with it. But this is the consistency, the thickness. But this is the consistency based on taking it out of the fridge. Um, <clears throat> as soon as it reaches room temperature, it probably will still be. But right now is you know it's cold. And uh, this is the fresh mixture that I made. I put it in this container. Uh, it runs a little, not as much, but it's still not as thick as the other one, probably because, like I said, I got the other one out of the fridge, but it still has a nice consistency. So, um, I'm going to use this mixture here. But anyway, I was trying to decide how I wanted to wash my hair. It's not really a wash, it's more like a rinse, but I guess it can be a wash because I'm going to use my Giovanni's Leave-In Conditioner as a wash to wash my hair. And I'm going to put my Smooth and Silk as a conditioner in order for me to um, detangle my hair. And then I'm going to uh, apply my conditioner that I made. Um, <clears throat> But I just don't do the cool rinse that most people do. I, I've always I've tested it with both, and so far the the warm is fine for me. And if it changes, you know, if if I have to do a cool from now on, who knows? When your hair grows and it changes over a period of time, you decide how you want to do it, cool or, or warm or whatever it is you choose to do. But anyway, I'll be back when I wet my hair and I'll start my process. Okay. You know, like just to remove some of the water. Okay, what I decided to do is um, section my hair into three, four sections. And um, I did use the one that I had in the fridge that I used from yesterday because that's my test part, only that part. This part is new, this part is, is going to be new, and this part is going to be with the, the new mixture. So anyway, right, although I said I don't like having to part my hair and section it and apply conditioner, I'm doing it this time. So very pretty. You know, I always remember that yesterday when I did it, I didn't do it on freshly washed hair yesterday. I did it on hair that had already had 
the conditioner in it. Even though it was dry, it still had conditioner in it. So it wasn't fresh, unfresh here. Freshly washed here. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm done applying it to my hair. Um, like I said, this is this side here is with the new mixture where I measured out. This side is with the old mixture from yesterday. All of this is done on freshly washed hair. Okay, this is the uh, the look I have. Okay, let's zoom in on that. Let's zoom in on this one. I hope that's in the camera. And Hi, um, this is the next day after uh, doing my hair with the uh, mixture that I made and um, some areas are not as defined. Well, I mean it's defined, but it has a frizz. <clears throat> a hair that's like frizzy in between as if it needs to be freshened up. And looking at it on camera, it probably won't even show it. <clears throat> I actually like the back because I feel, you know, the curls back there. Okay, this is after I wet it down a little um, and added a little bit, a little bit more of the uh, conditioner just to the areas. I did add a little bit here, from here, and then just this part. I didn't bother doing this part. I just left it alone, uh, and I didn't do. I didn't do this part either, I just left it alone. Um, I just find myself having to re-wet it sometimes. Um, it's rare that I can just not re-wet it. The only reason, the only way I, I don't have to, if I'm using a really heavy gel um, that that defines and hardens and I should say that would, um, um, you know, lock the curls in and then, uh, you know, it stays. You know, they stay defined, even if they're, even if it's a big hair, it stays defined, at least enough that I can go. Uh, conditioner alone and, and that aloe vera gel that I have, it, obviously it's just not going to do it, which is okay. It wasn't much work just adding a little extra to my hair in areas where I thought I needed it. Um, it just prevents me from having, see this way I can just rinse my hair throughout the week if I want to and just reapply it instead of having to wash to remove the, you know, if you put the heart gel in there, you have to wash to remove it. And uh, you can't just layer another coat of uh, gel on top. You have to just, you know, it just makes it even harder. And my hair doesn't feel hard, and I like that idea. It's not a hard, crisp feel to my hair. It's soft, and um, and if I have to reapply it every now and then, that's okay. At least I get the definition, a little bit of the definition that I want, and um, and I like it. Okay, I have to say, I just got back from where I went, and of course, I was loving my hair. I did, I did, or oh, I do, I do. It's all, I got in the car, I looked in the mirror, and those curls were wonderful. I mean, I said to you before, wait until you get outside and and see your hair under the light, the, the natural lighting outside, and you just you just love what you see most of the time. Oh, uh, I was just so happy with it, and it was I thought it was so cute, and the wind was blowing, and of course I like I said I didn't do anything under there. But I just loved it. Anyway, thought I'd share. All right, bye.